Hey, welcome back everybody, Sign here, and this is actually a different world than anybody's seen before from Marooned. This is something that uh, the mod pack creator has been working on, and I get to beta test. Again, but uh, this is the Mesa world. Now, the main thing with this is it's actually a true desert. Kind of like Savannah, but worse. Let's see... Okay, I hear a lot of enemies down there. And there's witches. Okay. I want this, though. So, I'm going to go here, open the quest book up for the first time. And... Read through all that again. No thanks, not right now. Survival 101. Go here. Turn my engineering diary in. And now we have four different ones to choose from. By the way, this is 1.4 pre-release. Yes. This pack keeps getting better and better. I am going to choose the Cutlass, actually. Why? Just because I can. But I get a Bone Crook as a reward. Which is what I wanted. So I can take care of all these guys. And I forget which mod does it, but one of the mods added a sound for witches, finally. Which is awesome. Usually you can tell they're coming by footsteps, right? The problem is that's the only way you can tell creepers are showing up, too. So, you know, it's a creeper you can deal with if they get within a couple blocks of you. By the time a witch has got within a couple blocks of you, it's where you start hurling potions at your head. It's just not a happy time. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Punch and wood, of course. Let's go ahead and grab this tainted soil. Alright. So, reward bag. Oh, I got a flint hatchet. Nice! Oh, that's actually an amazing one right off the bat. I just heard a witch drink a potion. But as near as I can tell, they can't get out of here. The zombies probably can, though. Their pathfinding is better. So, yep. Zombies found the sludge. Uh, let's go ahead and be on our way. Uh, actually, this is going to be an underground complex and everything else, so I'm going to set a waypoint here. Spoilers. Okay. You'll notice there's a ton of dead bushes around. It's kind of one of the features of the uh, the mesa. Also, a lot of regular cactus. There's not a lot of saguaro cactus. There are a few. Kind of scattered here and there, but there's not a lot. Let's go check that out, actually. Some desert gardens, which is good. I do have plans for those later. But uh, one of the things is the uh, pack creator has said there are a lot more ruins than they were in my last run-through map. Kind of update the amount to show up and everything else. Oh, and here's something else. Here is some saltpeter ore. Railcraft saltpeter ore. There's an iron pick to get it up. So it's going to be a while before I can get to that. Let's see. Yeah, I was heading over to this thing once I. Do, 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 do. And I see spiderweb up ahead. And the thing is, you want to keep an eye out for any stained clay you can find. It tends to blend in really well. That's kind of the point. But if you see stained clay, it means it's supporting something underneath it. There's an air void. In this case, it's just a couple of uh, drying racks. Is there any stained clay on this side? No, it's not Not quite big enough really to have anything hidden. There's a lot of salt pier ore here, though. One, two, three... Four, five. Needs an iron pick to get it up. Now, the swords um, was from like the very first iteration of Marooned. Uh, they're making a comeback. And I'll uh, kind of go over them uh, this night whenever I kind of have to stop for a while. Because special mobs are in this now. They weren't added until after my last playthrough, and... That's clay right there. 
Due to how the HQM mod works, if you try updating it... Oh, hey, look, chest. Ooh, got some food, too. Uh, if you try updating your quests in the middle of a map, it has a tendency to just say, screw you, no, and, and break everything. And we got what? Monster jerky, one string, and a few dust. So if I get some water, I can make clay. If I get a barrel as well, and everything else. But hey, that's a free crafting bench right there. Um, went there, here. Let's go ahead and punch up some trees, I guess. Kind of want to check out that big one over there. That, right there. But I'm going to need at least two tainted soil, and the best way to find tainted soil is underneath these trees. The tall vertical ones usually have it underneath. If you're really lucky, get real dirt. So do keep that in mind. And why am I doing this? I have a hatchet now. Why am I punching the wood? There we go. And hatchets actually work out to be just about as good of weapons as the swords do. Actually, what is the damage on this? Plus six, plus five. Yeah, see? That is a super tall cactus there. And wait a second. Oh, that's more cactus. I thought I saw some reeds there in the distance. And I'm just kind of making a bit of a loop there. There's my spiders. I am going to need to find somewhere to settle soon. Let's grab some more of these. Just not quite yet. I'm not ready to settle down for the night. Spiders over there. Or a spider, anyway. It means there's somewhere for it to spawn, though. Yep. There's some clay right there. You can see that. So we do have a bit of an air pocket in here. A void. And... Got some sort of dried meat here. On a drying rack. Cool. Is that kind of it for... Yeah, I think that is it for that side. But there's something over here, because I can hear a spider. Yeah, you. I'm being careful because, uh, oh, well, there's a spawner anyway. Uh, sometimes there's like a little pocket of fluid inside these that you don't see until you've knocked down the sand and it's decided to come after you. Ah, uh, okay, there he goes. There's Cave Spider. You forgot about me already, huh? Ooh, give me that spider eye. You know what, I'm just going to punch this down, too. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And sneeze. Oh, give me this drying rack. I got some sugar cane now, too. Cool. And there's a spawner. I don't have any way to light that up at night, though, so I'm not going to hang around. Oh, look, there's a dying squid. Hello. What have we here? Okay, this is pretty kick ass here. Found one of these already. These spires. Nothing else these make great wither arenas. Well, the one I had last season was actually really good, too. Yeah, sorry about how last season ended. Um, I think I was actually taking it kind of too slow. And uh, the net result of that was... Uh, the new update came out before I'd even gone to the nether. So I'm not going to uh, take it as slow this time. Oh, hello you. Go away. Hell no. I need to find some place to kind of hole up for the night. That would eventually be a nice place to hole up, but uh, i got to take care of the spawners first. Gotta at least take care of the Magma Cube spawners, because they don't care about what the light level is. I turned all the way around by accident. 
scared the crap out of myself. Turned around too fast and uh, thought I'd just done a 180 when I really had done a 360. <laughs> Alright, we have spider web, okay. Underneath some cobweb though. Hello, gorgeous. Now, uh, block that up. Block you up. Okay, it's pitch black in here. But I can change that a little bit. There we go. Uh, okay, and there's... I'm going to be falling sand here. This isn't the version of the game that had red sandstone, was it? No, it's not. No, that's the next version. So, maple planks. That would be a drying rack. Well, granted, that will keep enemies from coming down here. It's not quite what I wanted. I don't want to do too much setup here, because I don't think I'm going to... I don't know, actually, this may not be a bad play. It's to start crap. Remember what I was saying about sometimes you... And why isn't it going away? Why is it not going away? There we go. Now it's going away. Ah, remember what I said? Sometimes you accidentally dig into a uh, fluids. Yeah. I'm just glad it wasn't like sludge or something. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna dig over on this side. Put that up because I still have a rotten flesh that needs to be dried. So I got myself a little less claustrophobic area. Uh, let's see, bring the quest book back out. Now some of the quests have changed. Yeah, that's a given. I, they will change between updates. Oh, I need five rotten flesh now. Okay, not a problem. Uh, I just have it. First part is one spider eye, two string. That's why I was kind of excited to get that spider eye from that first spider. Uh, taint nothing. Two tainted soil. These have been dropped from four to two. And actually it's now bones instead of bone meal. But... It is what it is. And fish jerky. Go ahead and submit there so we can get rid of the tainted soil in my inventory. Let's organize that a bit. Uh, let's turn this into a crafting table or crafting station. Which should satisfy the first part of that. Now I need some maple wood slabs. So put that there. Maple wood slabs are not a bad thing to have anyway. Oh, crap. Using the old algorithm still, aren't you, buddy? It said six, but it meant six crafting recipes of it, not six slabs. Each game's a little funny whenever it does things like that. And then I know three to arrows, huh? What about here? Uh, detection task, tainted soil, wooden hammer. All right. Now, wooden hammers make excellent backup weapons. If you ever find yourself on a middle of the night death run, and you can see a tree, chop that sucker down. Takes two sticks, two planks to make a hammer, right? So you, need, you only need two logs if you don't have a crafting bench available. Uh, hammer to progress in the game. Cobblestone ones are better, but wooden ones still get the job done. It also doubles as a weapon if nothing else is available. And it really does. It's got a plus three attack damage. Granted, my sword's got a plus six. However, if you got nothing else, this is better than punching things with your fist. And, yeah, durability 90, durability 59. This thing's got durability 60, so it's actually got roughly the same durability as my hatchet. Not horrid. Ooh, it's the nighttime song. Let's put these slabs to work, shall we? Uh, slabby there. And slabby there. Cool. <laughs> Now things can come down here, and that's as far as they can go, except for baby zombies. However, looking at my map, I see one zombie over there, there's a skeleton there. Right, that's like it. Hey buddy. <laughs> Hey, 
Don't want to mess with skeletons right now. Do not have a problem messing with zombies, though. Oops. Trying not to punch the dead bushes. Oh, you're a hungry zombie. Tends to steal items out of your inventory if you're not careful. And also, his attacks cause hunger. I'm just going to eat those up. Uh, how much food do I have left? 17, so 20 times total? Okay. Eh, not a bad location. I just wish I'd found a slime island so far, but I haven't. But I got one of these spiders. I've got a spider pit. Both of which are actually pretty good places to start off with. Do, 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 do. I just kind of level this out a bit in the middle of the night. Do you have some sewage right behind my place here? And this is the one that got me earlier, I think. That one? No, probably this one. Bonk, go away. Yep. Well, hell. Let's see if I can get my slide back. Yep, there we go. Ah, here we go. <laughs> How much rotten flesh do I have now? I got five. I can complete that quest. Sweet. Hmm. Which is a way to get that skeleton's attention. I don't have, like, any arrows yet anyway, though. I, mean, I could shoot them if I had ammo. Thing is, skeletons hurt whenever all you have is a uh, melee weapon. I heard a zombie. Where is he at? Hey, okay. Ooh. A vanilla bow, but that was it. Like, the rarest drop I could get, but no bones or arrows. God, what a stingy bastard. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's a brutish zombie. I, you know. Is there anything else? Because I don't want If I'm taking him on, I want to be just him. Run away, buddy. What do you got now? Half heart? Okay, cool. Uh, they hit stupid hard, and they uh, they have more hit points than other zombies, so... <laughs> Plus, that one had an enchanted sword. Hey, look, it's a creeper. Two regular hits and a crit usually take out most things. I have to do two crits and regular hits to kill a zombie, though. But that's why I like cutlasses. They tend to do slightly more damage than anything else does. That, I believe, is a ghost spider? Sand spider, right? Desert spider. Yeah. Nausea and blindness. Yoink. Ah, cool. I need bones and I need arrows, but I didn't have a whole lot of skeleton spawn last night. Now this guy's going to burn up. What the hell? Did he shoot me with like a speed effect or something? I kind of felt like it for a second there. There's a lot of ground clutter. Kind of makes it harder to see enemies on the horizon. Which is not necessarily a bad thing when you get down to it. Do, 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 do. Ooh. So that would be one arrow and two bones. I need three of each. Come on, where all the skeletons die at? Where were they all at anyway? That's there's the question. Do 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 do.
Huh. Vaguely disappointing. Let's see, I've got most of my stuff on me still, which is not a bad thing. So what was that? That was beef jerky, actually. Okay. Which is just as bad as any other jerky. Damn. Damn, da damn, damn, damn. Floating cactus. Okay. That's going to disappear as soon as it tries growing. Update's going to hit. Block update's going to hit, and it's just going to pop. Yeah, there's a lot more of these sand files. So, ooh, swarrows. Short, stubby ones, but means I can do the swarrow fruit quest now. See another tree over there. Cool. That helps. I'm a genius. I really am, I swear. Let's see. Um, there should be... If there's anything in here, I should be able to see a block of clay, right? Thing is, I don't have a shovel right now, and I don't feel like punching my way through the, to the middle of this. So let's try, say, here. Okay, I'm freaking psychic is what it is. And a chest. What's in the chest? The arrows I need. Thank you kindly. Why did I just punch that up? I have a hatchet. Oh, God. A drying rack with regular string on it. Cool. And a cobweb. That's needed for a sieve. So, cobwebs are good. Cobwebs are really good. And now let's just hope I can find my way back, because I did not... Waypoint <laughs> by the spire or anything. Of course, this would still be close enough here to set up a home. Ooh, there's another one of the double ones. Alright, how many maple saplings do I have? A big fat zero, because my first tree was infested, so I got silkworms off of it. There we go. Forgot that I had no saplings. Hey, look, sugar cane. Cool. Give me that. Take care of that. Awesome. Do I have no inventory space now? Well, hell. Hmm. I might need a vanilla bow, though, too. I know I can do. I'm just... Where's zombie head? Okay, so that direction. Okay, pretty much head back towards the uh, waypoint for the spiders, and I'll find it. <clears throat> Excuse me, because there's more tree there. There's infested here. Just have myself crumbs on it. Yes, I do, so I can get more. Don't get strings in this version from infested leaves. That's intended. But, uh, silkworms still come in handy. Why do I hear spiders? Why is it always flipping spiders? Because they never shut up. <laughs> and they don't burn up in the daytime, so they just sit on top of your house and scream. I hear witches, too. here, which is taking damage and drinking potions. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, this is another spider pit. Oh, more tainted soil, though. I'll take that. Give me that. Thank you. Man, I... Runny nose. Terribly sorry about that, folks, but... Not much I can do about it. Unfortunately. Only got six cacti on me, huh? Ah, there we go. That's what I was hoping to see, actually. Oh, and I know what this is. Oh. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, definitely waypoint this. Um, I'm just going to call it future. Okay. 
but I know what's underneath here. And it's like one of the best things that you can find. So, toss that. I'm going to chuck my wooden hammer for now so I have some inventory space. Hmm. Organize that. I kind of want to keep the dust for now because it's going to be hard to make it otherwise. Queen B. Nice. I care less about the honeycomb, really. But I do want the apiary. I care less about the honeycomb, really. I want the apiary. Thank you. So I can get more honeycombs. Apiaries are a little fun to get right now, so. Uh huh. I recognize that. All kinds of bad juju going on underneath me right now. You know what? I'm going to break that first. Put that there. Now I'm going to punch out the tainted soil. Oh, hell. What the heck? Web Cave Spider. That's a new one. That is a really new one. <laughs> Did not know that those bastards would do that. Otherwise, I would have left them the hell alone. Not only do they poison you, they trap you in webs and do the hitbox of the web and everything. You can't hit them. Easily. I was kind of able to do it. You know what? I'm here. Let's grab some more cactus. I'm going to need to set up a cactus farm. So. Is that sugar cane right there? Well, yes, yes it is. Drink mine now. Do 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 do. I didn't even die all that far away from spawn. I was testing out, um, how was it, the mods, but in uh, uh the savanna, and yeah, it was quite interesting. <laughs> well, they're all gone now. Here's hoping my stuff doesn't end up in the webs. I don't know what you're hitting, buddy, but uh, sound up a lot like you're burning up. Okay. Cool. That's repaired. That can go there. I do think it means I'm missing some stuff, though. So I think I had some stuff fall into the sludge. Yep. I don't know what that was I picked up, though. So. My dust. Okay. Good. You all bastards can be poisoned down there from the sewage. Tricks. Is there anything else of interest here? Okay, I would have to call that of interest right there. And you know what? I'm taking a screenshot. Because that is a sugar cane, cactus root, cactus root. I am leaving that sucker alone. Uh, as soon as the sugar cane grows, though, it's gonna. gonna break. Unfortunately. So, and let's go here. Let's turn that off. Or disable it anyway. Grab some cactus while we're at it. Uh, let's see. You can go to slot two. Put you in three just because you're nice to hit things with. And you can go in nine. That way it's just a quick switch over. And the sun's going down already. Great. And I need to find exactly where my other place is. Jesus. Did I check this out? I think I did. If I already checked this one out, then it's a good landmark on my way back. Did not check this one out. Just a couple drying racks, but hey. It's free drying racks. I mean, I'm not going to say no. Um, okay. Kind of keep my eye on the horizon a bit here, too. Okay. 
I did check this one out. All right, cool. Oh yeah, this is my Swarrow Cactus thing. Okay, I should know where to go from here. Because I believe it was like that little cluster of cacti there that where the tree was. Oh, hello. Freaking death creeper. There's the spire. God damn, those things blow up. Oh god, spider. Not only a problem, but uh I don't seem to be doing a lot of damage either. Okay, that could be a problem. I just don't have a lot of health to be fighting spiders with. Chests are well. Okay, four. Let's move that. Screw it. <laughs> Unload stuff. Um, slight bit of problem. Things can see me through this. They just can't get to me. And I don't really have a way of getting items easily either. Dang it. Hmm. I didn't want the creeper head. I want the gunpowder. And I want to get this thing off my roof. Oh! Bastard ate my cutlass. See what I mean when I take items out of your inventory? If you don't kill them, you don't get them back. So watch out for anything that's hungry. Then there's the thief enemies, which will just pop it out of your grasp. Hmm. So I'm going to uh, farm mobs up tonight. Oh, look at that. Really? Where's everything at? There we go. Do you have to, like, see me see me now or something? That's annoying. Yeah, I'm going to do some mob farming tonight, because, well, the only thing I have to worry about, like I said, is uh, baby zombies. And I should have some quests to turn in in the morning. And now that I've started hitting zombies, I should have a, uh, a pretty steady flow of zombies all night. And that's a doom creeper coming over here. Son of a... Oh, that's a splitting creeper, isn't it? Yeah. Where's everybody at? That would be a super fast skeleton with a sword. Still coming? Good. Right, just a skeleton. My god, you're fast, though. There we go. Oh, there's that one, too. Cool. What are you, a sniper, huh? Oh, hey, he, drop, he drops feathers. Cool. All right. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that all night. Especially, I've got things I want. I got gunpowder now. I've got some bones. I've got zombie meat. I've got arrows. So I've got the basic mob drops. I even got an ender pearl already, which is awesome. And I'm gonna have like, yeah, zombies. When I hit them, they call for help, and which means that every zombie within hearing range comes after you. Plus, they can sometimes spawn zombies randomly around them. So, which is why the the two candles, because I don't want it to. Oh, hey, look at that. And this does count as a solid block, so uh, 
Be able to hit my head on it now. Nothing can come up that way. You know what? I might as well. Bonk. Yep, it's just gonna be boring, and I'll take care of the quests in the morning. So, oh wow, that's a horde. Yep, I shall sign off now and see everybody next episode. Until then, sign signing out.